excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hi everybody, this is Jen, aka Laurel Evies, and welcome back to Hive Swap Act 2. Uh, long story short, Clown Train. They tricksters. They basically sent me out on an assassin mission. I gotta go to the yellow blood car, but I'm not sure how I'm gonna, like, take out a yellow blood. Because A, they could probably beat me up on very easily. And, uh, let's see, what would B be? Oh, that's right, I don't want to kill anybody. Anyway, hi. Talk to our daughter. Found yourself in a predicament, sweet one. Why not step into my room and not now? Okay, I'm just looking- I'm talking to everybody to make sure if I can find some way to like be like, Hey, anybody got some spare yellow blood? Dude, you really should just get out of here while you can. There's no winning against high bloods. Edward, please. I really need your help. Eh, what's up, girly? Okay, so we went to the clown car to get through the engine room, and it turned out that Marvis, who I thought was a nice guy, is actually an evil clown, and his other huge clown friend is holding my friend hostage, and she won't let him go and let us through unless we I kill a troll. They spun this wheel and it landed on yellow, and they said I had to kill a yellow blood troll, but I've never killed anybody before, and I don't want to. And, and, and Whoa there, slow down. I don't know what to do. So what you're saying is you've got yourself into a game with a high blood. I guess. Killing someone doesn't sound like much of a game, though, to me. Dang, you really ain't from around here, huh? No, I'm not, and I never want to be killing somebody if what you people think is a game. Whoa, getting a little pitch there. I'm upset and I don't know what to do. Why are you all acting like this is no big deal? Well, it's hardly the first time a clown has roped a low blood into some killing game. I don't really know what to tell you, girl. I wish I could help, but... If a high blood wants something from you, chances are they're gonna get it. So if you know what they want, just give it to them. Do you think I could, like, just make them think I killed somebody, but not actually do it? Trying to cheat a clown is a dangerous game, girl. They're more perceptive than they look. And if you're gonna lie, it better be real entertaining. I... I'm just going to go. I'm sure I can lie. I was really hoping you guys would be good for a couple more IP acquisitions, but oh well. I'm still determined. We will not kill anyone, even though we already sort of killed Lanera. Um, but that was an accident. There is literally no chance you have enough money to pay me to deal with a clown problem. How about a deal with a murderous how to deal with a murderous clown, historically speaking, by dying. Remember to respect your high blood betters. Not now, dear. Very busy. Many things to do. Toodaloo. Of course you would, Stelsa. Most any conflict can be solved with a sharp enough blade. Yeah, but you don't have a sharp blade, do you? Are you all right, dear? You little... Everybody knows clowns are bad news, woo. Push off. Whatever your problem is, don't drag me into it. Bye, Lank. Good to see your characterization still intact. Well, sort of. They lessened the intensity of your craziness, I think. Let's go. Oh gosh, cutscene time? I don't... Let's see. Talk. Um, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but I need to get to the engine room, and I got as far as the high blood car, but the clowns there want me to kill a yellow blood if I want to get through. Do you have any idea how I can do that without killing one of you? Wow. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. Have you tried killing the clowns? I'd like to avoid that. I don't know what to tell you, but I have to warn you that I will act in self-defense. That's what I thought. Boulder, anything? S sorry, I don't have any advice for the situation. Thanks, Boulder. 
Hi. Um, do you know how I could, um, kill somebody without actually killing them? Sorry, only one freemie per customer. Thought so. Bye. <gasps> so Rob is asleep. We take the eye patch. Yes, that's how the plan's gonna go. Talk. I don't know why I'm asking you guys, but I have a problem. To cut things short, some clowns want me to kill a yellow blood and bring back proof. Do you know how I could do this without actually killing anybody? Lol. Lol. Where's that rust blood that's always hanging around you? Being held hostage by a clown until I do what they want. Shoot, looks bad for this epic romance, lol. <laughs> that moment when your Moirel is clown food. Don't worry, you'll find another one. I knew this would be a waste of time. Okay, I'm just gonna go into the next car and talk to the Rusties. Here we go. The creepy music in the background's playing. Cleaning is my whole deal. No ideas past that. Keep away from the upper castes. They only want to plunder your warm meat. Well, that'll be taken out of context. Talk. If only you could simply fly away. But alas, the technology does not exist. At least not here, it don't. But don't tell him that. Okay, and you probably can't help me. I'm sorry, Joey. I know you worry about your Rigla, but I don't really have any advice that's worthwhile. You still think I'm a Lucis, do you? Bye, do. Sarafa. Look. This kid is a celebrity on the internet or something. Tag. Oh, they're asleep. I guess they look pretty dead as it is. Happy face. Is that it? Can I not take your eye patch? Maybe this will be enough. Oh, hey, I think I've asked the heck out. What's up? <laughs> Talk. Maybe this will be enough. Okay, then. I guess we'll find out. Nothing else to talk about? Some people have to pay bills. You have bills here? Yeah, my Hatch to Dance fan club membership. Of course. Anything else? My work here is done. But you didn't do anything. <laughs> Tuxedo mask. Okay. I can't... Let's just go. I'm not talking to you guys again. In case you guys try to freaking attack me. Let's go. Back to Clown Car Central. I'm gonna go cry in a corner now. Better hurry up, little thing. You never know when a mother chucker might get hungry. Let me guess, honk? Honk. Yes, indeed. Barzum, Basily. Let us help. No. Okay. Hi, Marvis. Let's get this over with. <clears throat> Marvis, I did it. I killed a yellow blood troll like you said. Wow, and we thought... No, wow, and we thought... You didn't have the guts! But, well, I'll be dang, you got proof, Joe. Here, I took a picture of what I did. Dane was dead, all right. Hold up. Let me get a look at this here photograph. Now, wait just a minute. Who's to say this here troll is even dead? For all we know, they could be sleeping. Well, they're not. I definitely killed them. How did you... No, how did you do it? Yeah, how did you kill them? Um, I strangled them so it was a clean death. Do you think we're stupid, little one? Dang, buddies, no need to be such dang killjoys. I'm sure my girl Joe here is a woman of her word. Yeah, I am! Let's give that wheel another spin. Wait, we're doing more than one? You slowly won't touch the clown nose. Here we go. <laughs> I 
Tooch. <laughs> A teal, then. Teal? Teal! It's a teal! This one gonna be interesting for sure! Oh, the teals sure are a feisty bunch! Honk! Zephyros hang in there. Oh. Now this one's the same as the last. Go out and kill yourself a teal blood and bring it back. But, br but bring a little more proof back this time. What am I supposed to do? Bring back a whole body? Don't let- don't give him ideas. Dan, don't pressure the girl. It's just ain't any fun if she doesn't do the deed for real. You know I always like to keep trophies from my kills. So I can press them into my scrapbooks. Yay, scrapbooking got brought up for the first time since she was introduced back in Troll Call. Anyway. I can show y'all a bit later if it please ya. Thank you, but no thank you. Okay. Okay, okay. This time, make sure you bring back some solid proof, you hear me? We best, we best know that troll be dead for sure. Anybody gonna freaking give me something in the teal car? Hmm, what could we use? Now, what could we have? What could we do? Is anybody... Maybe one of them will get, like, a horrendous nosebleed. Okay, all we need to do is get... Uh, let's see, Tagiri to see something kind of lewd. And he'll do the anime noseblood thing. And then we'll have blood on our hands. And they'll be like, oh, yeah... She don't killed someone now. These things come in threes, though, so I wonder who the third person will be. It'll probably be a rust blood, and they'll be like, "Hey, kill your friend," and I'm like, "Uh, no." Hello, teal car. We all, we have a limited amount of people. So how are we gonna do this? Talk. Let's just go down the list. I'm not even going to ask you for help because you just tell me to pay for it. Wise. Tizius, please. Hi, Tizius. I have a bit of a problem. Eh? Yeah? What's up? So, uh, the clowns up at the train want me to kill a teal-blooded troll before they'll release my friend and let me go through the, to the engine. Do you have any ideas for how I can do that, ideally without doing that? <laughs> That's one that one's a little above my pay grade. Do you get paid for what you do? I sure don't. <laughs> Just don't kill me, please. Great. Tarona. So, um, actually I get the feeling that you would not be the appropriate person to say anything of the things I was about to say to. What? Because she's a child. Okay, Stelza. I... Not now, dear. Can't you see I'm busy? So much to do. Run along now. Speak with my assistant. I mean, my mate spirit, if you have any urgent needs. Wow. All right. Yeah, I thought so. Tagiri's the one we're going for. Hi, Tagiri. We got some art for you. Hi, Tagiri. Well met. So I'm kind of in a predicament right now, and... And... Hey, can I just, like, have your sword? Excuse me? You mean my blade? Yeah, your blade. Tch, you're foolish if you think I would give away my pride so easily. You have no pride. What would you give away? What would... <laughs> what would get you to give away your pride? Well, what do you want for it, want for it exactly? Uh, I need it to heroically save somebody's life. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. That sounds like a very anime reason. I won't give you my true blade, but here you go, my Tonto. Oh, sweet, we got a tiny blade. <gasps> uh, seriously? 
Of course. Who do you? Who am I to become a brave woman and her act of heroism? I'll wish you the best of luck in your adventures, milady. <clears throat> I really wasn't expecting that to work. Can I give you the statue? This will not be born. Oh, fine. But it's a cool statue. It's a Sailor Moon reference. All right, we go. Peace. Just notice the blue bloods have, like, their chairs have weird feet on them. Like, maybe not like the lion feet we have in, like, our works, but maybe like lion ant feet. Okay, Marvis. Hi, Marvis. Here's my kill trophy. I got this sword off a of teal a few cars back after I killed him, that is. Yo, dope. Then we can... Now wait just a dang minute. I got a mighty suspicion we might be played for fools again. What makes you think that? She could have just as easily asked a living troll to give up this here sword. It's as clean as a gosh darn whistle, Marvis. I didn't. I swear I killed him. And how did you go and do that exactly? I tap danced him into the ground. <laughs> His little nerd anime nerd body. Oh how no oh how gruesome. How grisly Yeah, I totally turned him into ground beef. Yeah, Joey is real tough. Where I come from, if there's no blood, you can't rightly call it a killing at all. Now, now, settle down, everybody. I gotta make this fair for y'all. Joe, if you really did the killing like you said, why don't you head on back and rustle up some gore from that corpse? Then I'm sure we'll all be satisfied. Sigh. Okay, another long walk back. Let's go. Okay. So, Tagiri, help me out here. Um, hey... I know I just gave you your sword, but could you think you could help me out a little bit more? What is it, my noble heroine? So, you know me and my friend Zepros have been trying to get up to the front of the train. We made it as far as the clown car, but the clowns up there are all crazy murderers. Mm-hmm. So, to let me through the engine room, they want me to murder trolls of certain blood colors. I've been trying to fake them out so far. I fooled them the first time. But this time, they told me your sword wasn't proof enough. Is there anything else you can come up with to help it look more like a, an actual, like I actually killed you? Hmm. I suppose we have no choice. Hand me back my Tanto. What? Uh, okay. <laughs> no! Don't do seppuku! All right, then at last it comes to this. Um, what? Draw, my lady. You must stand as my kaishaku. Your what? I long knew that this is my predestined fate. Strike true, noble one. I will have no regrets in my life after this heroic deed. I am not doing that. Just give me the thing back. How about this now? Okay, then. He almost did seppuku. Take a memo, dearie. I think I've had enough clowns for one day. Talk. Suit yourself. If you got nothing to pay, I've got nothing to say. Well, how am I supposed to do this then? Can I? Am I? He gave that to you. Yeah, but what am I supposed to do? Question mark, question mark. Tell me what to do. Well, you've gotten yourself into a serious pickle. This is what happens when you trust clowns. Is the sword a convincing enough trophy? Well, we already learned that it's not. You sure there's nothing else we can do? You find the stomach. My neck awaits a glorious severance. I'm good, thanks. Uh, Elward, you got anything to help me? Elward, could you help me? What's up? I brought this sword back from the teal car to the clowns as a kill trophy, but they didn't consider it enough proof that I actually killed anybody. Can you think of some way to make it look more convincing? Mm, yeah, I might be able to help with that. 
Yo, Rems, you got down for another commission? What do you want this time, Elward? I think you can just hand over some teal paint. That's all we need. Do you have any idea how hard it is to come by teal paint? Make it worth your while. And how do you propose you can do that? I got one of these Hatch to Dance High Touch tickets. I was planning to scalp at Javik Week. But if you're too good for it, well... <gasps> well, I, uh, um, I, I cannot believe you would just expose me like this in front of strangers. Ha ha ha. So you don't want them? No, of course I want them, you utter hag. You had tickets and you didn't tell me. I can't believe this. Paint up this sword and Tyagon's sweaty, sweaty teal palm is all yours to touch, sweetheart. I won't forget this. Give me the sword. Okay. I wonder if we could have gone to... Oh, gosh. No, she probably wouldn't have wanted to help. She probably wouldn't would have been like, She's my best friend. I can't go talking to her about that. Like, ah, ah. Talk. Oh, John's just having fun. You have to see? She wouldn't help us even if we didn't. So we got teal paint. Let's go. Hi. <clears throat> Here you go. It's proof of my kill. Wow. Looks like you actually did it. <laughs> cool, you did good work, Joe. Just give it up so we can move on to the next one. Now wait just a darn minute. Give that thing over. Um, okay, here you go. Well, that's real blood, all right. <laughs> wait, really? See, Chow had nothing. See, Chow nothing to start a ruckus about. We can hustle on over to the next show. But wait, this sword, it's not sharp at all. Oh. Um, this is a fake sword, little miss. Oh, the scandal. The outrage. How'd you go and get so much blood on a fake sword? I, um, I hit him really hard. Um, many, many times. Dang, Joe, that's metal. <laughs> you a real one for show. Now hold up. Nah, this a one fair and square. A girl did the work. Aight, let's give another spin. Wheel of Clowns. Turn, turn, turn. Here we go. What? Did you just say purple? Did we have cannon laughter? Pur 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 purple? But that means... Is that one of you? <laughs> That's right. Uh, I have to kill one of you? So it seems, Joe. Honk! This is just terrific, don't you think? <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Juggling my boy again. Stop it! Put him down! I'll stop if you stop me. <laughs> Do you have the guts to kill us? Or will it be me? Or maybe me. Maybe she'll kill little sweet Karako. <laughs> Conk. Yeah, it seems like you got your work cut out for you. <laughs> uh. Oh, this is going to be such a party. But for a party, we'll need refreshments. Shucks, you're right. Dang, we already went and drank up all the Fago. Yo, I told you buddies to make it at last. You didn't listen. <laughs> we should have listened. Honk. 
Aww. Yo, Joe, I'm pretty sure there's some juice stashed back in the rust blood car. Why don't you pop down to the caboose and we can really get this shindig swinging. They are really, really chill with this. <laughs> Alright, dog. Uh, let's go then. Uh, wonder what they have to say. Talk? Oh, I'm so excited. And I'm so scared. I just can't wait to see how you're doing to pull this one off. Just keep in mind, none of your little tricks are gonna work this time. All our eyes are wide open, my wicked sister. Now hurry up and get us some of that Fago. Hi, Karako. You're supposed to be dead already. Canonically so. Honk! Bars and Basily? Oh, Basily, I'm so excited! Are you, Barzum? Oh, I am! Oh, but what if she kills us, Barzum? Oh, wouldn't that be quite a circus? All eyes on me in the center of the ring just like a circus. Talk to Marvis one last time. Marvis? What's up, Joe? How am I supposed to... You know the first two times I didn't re... Shh. Listen, Joe, you're a smart girl. You'll figure out something out. See, he knows. He knows. He's a real G. He's keeping us safe. Uh, Chow's the one that would totally freaking murder us. Marvis is like, eh, I just like to play games. <laughs> Let's go. A pigeon has the pouch on his neck again. How many times has that changed? Okay, I want to see the look on her face when I tell her that. Your friend is still holding my friend captive? Aw, oh, John loves Lobloods so much. Is that a, a ha ha I love them so much they're delicious sort of joke? Uh, no! Uh, you guys taste awful. See? <laughs> Husbando, tell me things. So, um, what would, would you happen to know anything about dealing with clowns? Dealing with clowns? Yeah, so um, a group of clowns is taking my friend hostage, and they told me they won't release him unless I kill one of them. But I'd rather not actually do that. I don't know what you want me to tell you. What a high blood desires, he can usually expect to receive. <sighs> Hi, Nike. Good day, sister. Do you have any uh, tips for fighting clowns? Clowns. Yes, I, I kind of have to kill a clown to save my friend's life, but I'm not sure what to do. When fighting high bloods, you've just got to throw your weight around. Pile drive them until the floppy shoes come off. Not sure that's my wheelhouse, but thanks for the advice. Just got to keep going. Our daughter... Hey, you're good at killing people, right? Oh, I suppose I am. Why? I have to kill a clown, apparently. But I'm kind of out of my depth here. Any advice? Hmm. You could always invite them over to come visit me. In my room. That could actually be a viable option for me. <laughs> Let's go. Why do they keep Fago in the caboose? What's up? I'm supposed to kill a clown. Oh, wow. That's messed up. You've got no chance against a clown. You're right. I hate this. I hate the first thing you think that it's messed up. Okay. I hate that the first thing you think is that it's messed up. That it's specifically a clown they want me to kill. And not that they want me to kill someone in the first place. I'm not following. I know it's okay. He's just a simple computer boy. Elward, I... I think I'm really in trouble this time. What the clowns got you doing this time? This time they want me to kill one of them. And I can't really think of a way I could possibly trick them. They, they're all together, just waiting for it to happen. Dang. That is tough. Do you have any advice? 
Not this time, girl. I'm sorry. It's okay, Elward. You were a real G. Okay. The clowns want me to go kill one of them before they let my friend go. Well, dang. Uh, can I take a picture of you before you go? What? Why? Just for marketing reasons, if you die in a particularly fantastic and gruesome way, I want first rights to the story. It Thanks. Did she actually take a picture? Is her messed up by a camera? I wish I had money to pay to actually deal with my problems. So do I. Mercenary. Okay. Tizius, you and Stelsa. Huh? You two are... Well, you're like... You're like lesbians, aren't you? <laughs> you're in lesbians with each other, aren't you? Hello, <laughs> what? Like, you're both girls, but you still... You love each other. Mm, I mean, yeah, I guess so. She's my mate, Sprit. Well, don't tell her I said I guess so. Yeah, I do love her. Why? Uh, do, do you... Can you, like, kiss her? Uh, what? Yeah, I can kiss her. Even though she's a girl, that's okay here? Nobody even thinks that that's weird if you do that with another girl? Why would anyone think it's weird? I don't know. It just sort of is, isn't it? Do you think it's weird? What's wrong with it? I guess I don't really know. Sounds like something you gotta interrogate on your own time. Sorry, dear. Still very, very busy still. You keep saying that, but are, what are you actually doing? Tch, an amateur question from an amateur legislator. You'll understand when you're important as me. Run along now. Bye, Tarona. Do clowns have any weaknesses? Oh, absolutely not. Thought so. Thank you, Tagiri. You are a G. I keep saying everyone's a G. How fair is my blade? Here, you can just have it back. Did it serve its purpose well? I guess it did. Thanks. You're a good boy, Tagiri. My formidable blade has been sharpened by the travails of heroism. Sure. <laughs> Do you have any advice in pretending to kill clowns? <gasps> what? I have no idea why you think I'd know anything about that. Because you probably were the one responsible for Lenara's death. You read a lot of stories. Um, yes, I suppose, Ulu. Why? What do they tell you about hurting other people to defend yourself or someone you care about? Well, she reads warrior cats. What does something like that mean to trolls? Huh? I mean, hurting other people is just sort of a part of growing up. Everybody has to do it eventually. It's how the world works. Is that true? Maybe not physically. Not in our world, anyway. There are only so many places in the world, and if you don't take yours, someone will, oo-woo. I've just accepted to say oo-woo. Don't want to hear it, whatever it is. What do you do when you feel like you just want to give up? <laughs> Lash out and mess things up, mostly. Don't know if I recommend it. Has that ever made things better? Nah. Better not to be like me. You got that, Daria. Hi, Link. Have you ever had to kill a clown? Uh, the clowns on the train want me to kill one of them. I don't know if you've noticed, but none of us get out much. I don't know why you're asking me. I was about to say, was he going to be like, uh, define kill? Because it's a kill count. No, I doubt Lank has done any clowns. That seems even high even for him. <clears throat> clowns? The best plan here might just be to leave. You know, maybe run away. I can't do that. They've got my friend. Oh. Maybe find a new friend. Azdaja? You have to fight a high blood? Or kill one. I don't know if the fighting part is strictly necessary. Don't make me laugh. 
This is what happens when you send an inferior lowblood to do the job. So can you go and fight them for me? <laughs> As if I would be tricked by your baseless provocation. Boulder. Psst, Joey Claire. I wish I could do more to help you, but my information network is absolutely worthless in this circumstance. It's okay, Boulder. You don't have to stick your neck out for me. I wish my neck was more stickable. I got such a small neck. I know. Do you think they'll kill me? Do you want a nice answer or a true one? Uh, neither. I mean, there's multiple, like, truths. <laughs> Man, you really get yourself into some situations that are way too big for you. I can relate. But I can't relate enough to get myself killed. Bye, Polypa, best girl. Hi, Sarava. Oh, hey, thanks for helping me out earlier. LMAO what? Oh, uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Well, once your Moirel gets eaten by a big purple blood, you'll be single, right? Right, cause, like, you aren't stupid enough to go back there. Are you? Of course I'm going back. Nothing is going to happen to Zephros. I won't let it. You guys, you could help me. Oh, well, no. But he said, Moirel, ah, uh, we got the... Hold on. She didn't deny it. Can we put that under interspecies bromance slash romance chakaruni? N2. Let's go. Let's go to the next train. We got to find some Fago for the trip. The clowns are really insistent on it. Marcy. Hey. You want me to clean something? I'm your girl. Want me to fight high bloods? I'm nothing. I'm the scrubber. Uh-huh. Hello, diamond. Hey, watch where you're pointing those oculars. Don't g give me... You know what? I do want some of your hot dog. I'm gonna grab it right now and throw it on the floor. No, please don't do that. It's all I have. I wouldn't actually do that. I'm just not having a very good day. Do, 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 do. Talk to your sort of father. If only you could fly away from all your troubles, up into the vast firmament of the sky. Yeah, real shame. Okay. Ugh, what am I even doing? There's no soda here. There's not even room for soda. I'm such an idiot. I need to get back to Zephros. Joey, you look mad enough to spit. What's wrong now? It's... Don't worry about it, Skyla. You have your Lucis to worry about. I'm really sorry, but I didn't have a chance to find any Lucis medicine. Everything got really crazy really fast. I'm not really sure what to do. Oh, honey. It's okay. She seems to be perking up a little bit anyway. You worry about you and yours. Okay, thank you. I felt really bad. If there was something I could do, please be sure I would do it. I'd hate to see anything happen to either y'all. Okay. Thank you. Okay. So we just walked all the way to this, like, the back of the train car. And now we're going all the way back. I don't know why. But okay. I can always get sodas in the, maybe in the Cerulean car. If they'll allow me the opportunity. Just be like, hey, this is my last will and testament. Let me get your soda from the soda machine. Bye, you guys, you big old drama queens and wanshi, a little instigator. Basily. Hello, Joey. Oh, what's the matter, Joey? I, um. What are you doing out here? Where's Barzum? Time's up, Joey. You took too long. What? What, did you think we were gonna wait to see how you'd kill us? I'm gonna kill you first! 
Uh, Joey! <gasps> Zephros! Of course it would be one of the creepy clown twins over this thing of spikes on a rickety bridge. Oh my gosh, you actually- Whoa! Holy crud! Basilie felt that one. Oh wow! This is rated M for mature. Right. Got ya. Mmm, cool. You just... Zephros. You just... Zephros, you just killed a person! He was gonna kill you! Uh, I... He... How did you get free, Zephros? Marvis released me. He released you just like that? Yeah. After Basil went after you, he... So I ran and... And that happened. Joey, I was just trying to help you. I know, Zephros. You did. You... You saved my life. I guess we should go back in. Yeah. We, we've done what they wanted me to do. Murder. Can I look down? Well, I guess we really shouldn't. <laughs> They're like, we're getting by with a lot here, okay? We're not looking down at the clown body we eviscerated. Oh, I thought she'd go crazy. Hey, Joe. Ah, I can't feel him. I can't feel him. I can't feel him. Oh, I can't feel. I can, I can feel it. Oh my! It's his his head. My head. Our head. <laughs> I've got to hand it to you, Joey. After all your gosh darn mockery, I hadn't thought you had it in you. But here we are. Ah. Uh, hunk. I'm real impressed, Joe. You really rose to the occasion this time. No, I didn't kill him. What? But Bosom. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. He's dead, my heart, my life, he's dead. We killed him together. Joey is just being modest. <laughs> hey, now no need for that. You did a great job, Joe. Don't sell yourself short. Honest, it's just terrific. You definitely made the best choice out of all of us to kill. Just look at Barsom. What a wicked chuckle. I... Th I think you earned a clear ride, buddy. To go right on through. Clown door opens. When one door opens, another one is gonna traumatize you. Well, that's a thing that just happened. We still got some time left. Let's go on. I'm sorry, can we go talk to everybody else on the train? You're not going back there ever again. You never want to see another clown ever, 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 ever again. Okay. Joey, are you all right? No, I'm not. I'm not all right at all, Zephros. How could you be so calm about this? Um, we killed a person, Zephros. Yeah, I know it's hard to f at the first time. What? The first time? What are you saying? You live on a planet of murder- We're on a planet of murderers, Joey. Have, have you? No, that was my first time too. Please do don't be too hard on yourself, okay? It wasn't your fault. You didn't kill him. I did. I feel it for you, so you don't have to. Let's just go. Wait, Joey? What? Um, I think I know. Know what? What I think. About the High Bloods and our revolution. Yeah? I think the good ones will join, even if we don't offer them anything. 
Really? Even after... after all that? Yeah. It's because of what just happened that I think so. Because even if it's extremely hard and you don't get anything out of it, even if you have to kill to do it, or even if you have to d die, defending someone weaker than you is its own reward. Um, what do you think? I think that you're right, Zephros. But... But I still feel awful. Y yeah. Okay. How do we get in through here? I guess it's a pull, pu push up door or something? Okay, that's a drone. It's got a little hat and a little hula figurine, but still. Okay, so I think we need to hit that lever right there. The one he's holding? Yeah, that might be a problem. We gotta disable the drone somehow or it'll sound an alarm. Hmm. Do, 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 This might be time for... Uh, some lights. Shed some light on the situation. Shine on your crazy diamond. Uh, can you do something? Hitchcocked? Fear no bird? Okay. <laughs> he just reorganized himself in my inventory. <laughs> Hitchcocked. <laughs> uh, we got yummy bits. Give a dog a bone. That's not a pet, my dear. Uh, tap? Give him the old razzle dazzle. Keep him way off balance. Oh, we shot. We shake the hula good dancer. That's funny. Uh, sh can we do it again? Keep him off balance. Uh. Do, 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 B. Not gonna do you any good. Okay, uh. How about the light now? Situation. This is fun, though. Can we do another one? There's gotta be something we can do around here. Zephros. Use your telekinesis. Activating. Open sesame. Hmm, I heard a click. I think that trap door unlocked. Oh, I bet it opens down to the tracks like a maintenance hatch. Okay, so what do we do with that? Can we do something now? Can we bird now? Bird! Nope, he just flew back into our inventory. Okay. Maybe Zephros can do his thing again. Activating. Okay, you must gather your party before venturing forth. What is that? What does that mean? You distract the drone in order to break the door and get through. A busty woman on the dashboard might be the ticket. Psychic abilities. Let's go. Activating. Resistant to mental compulsion. What? The hula dancer can't... F really? Really? Soda, then. 100% juice. It's 100% worthless. Batter up. Don't smack the dancing girl. Okay, then how about... All the world's impressed by such beautiful masterpiece. Uh, if we can't use that, and that doesn't work, and the yummy bits don't work, can we tap the hula dancer? Keep him off balance. We tried almost everything. You can dance if you want to. You can leave your friends behind. <laughs> Light. 
light. Oh. Flash dance. Okay, what now? Send through the hatch to distract the drone. <gasps> Buyers! Buyers, go, my beautiful boy! Go forth! Whoa! One door closes, another one opens. Good boy, Byers! I'm counting that as I too. Byers is a talented bird. Okay. So how do we open this door now? Do 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 Activating. Hmm. Okay, maybe he needs a little shake up. How are we supposed to get him then? You're not able to break the door safely. Oh, okay. Uh, then switch to Zephros. Smack that door. Batter up! Home run! I like the buyers just, just happening around. It's fun. Okay, so how do we get in here now? Hi Hint function's only available to Joey. Oh, sorry. My bad. We need to cut the door the drone's network communication systems in order to prevent its body from alerting the mainframe. Okay, can we do this? Brain shielded. Okay. Hmm. So if that's a shielded thing, what can we do? I'm turning down the volume a little bit on both our ends. Not that far down. Okay. Hmm. Buyers, come back to me. Can I throw this at him? No. Okay. Anything sharp around, you can use to sever the drone's communication system. Sharp. Well, I mean, we got a Q-stick. That don't work. Underkill. Sharp. I don't know, bro. Oh, wait. Glass. Zephros, psychic the glass. Activating. Dangerous weather we're having. Okay. Switch back to Joey. You need to disable the alarms on the train network. They'll be located inside the drone's organs. So how do we kill... The so how do we get to the organs, then? Zephros? Go for it. Uh, okay, Zephros, use this. Nope. Did we just game over ourselves? Dang it, okay. Fine, this is fine. This is fine, this is fine. Okay, light on the hula dancer. She is indifferent. Oh wait, that's right. I have to tapity tap to make her go in order to then Shine a light to make her shine and then he's distracted and Zephros can use his psychic powers to do that Got to think smaller. Okay, sorry on to here then Open says me heard a click trap door unlocked. Okay now we do whoops not that We do this activate that Okay Switch back to Joey. Throw that pigeon in there. Here we go, buyers. Go forth and conquer. Snap, snaps. Okay. Now we can go over here. Cubat window. Snap. Then. Psychic powers to chop him off from there. Dangerous weather we're having. Now we just need to get to the rib cage. Right. Sorry. Disable the alarms in the tra train network. Locate inside the drone's organs. 
You can direct your pigeon to peck alarms if you can figure to lure him there. I've got yummy bits. Come on, pigeon. Go, pigeon, go. go. Hmm, are these pets? Go, buyers, go! Yeah, my boy. What a good bird. Okay, I guess we have... What? You did it! All you need to do is use Zephyr's telekinesis on the switch. The train will travel on the expressway. You'll be on your way to the festival. Okay, good. Good to know. Activating. Brainworms! Yeah! Boom! Boom! We did it? I think so. Now we just have to wait till we get to Grenea's. She'll know how to get you home. Yeah. Well, be here in around a couple of hours. We should go back to the Rustblood car. And don't forget, we still need to ask around for Skyla's Lucis. No. Hmm? I don't want to walk through the clown car again. Oh. It'll be okay, Joey. They won't mind. And, and I'm here. I'll protect you, I promise. You know, you you really are brave. Thank you, Zephros. What now? Old secret once more. Hug her, you fool! Show that troll illness known as friendship. Let's go. <laughs> That's a bird. What the heck just happened? It hit the... What? Something burst through the sky and destroyed the... Tr Mmm, act two. Okay. Hmm. Well. Huh. Cool. Gee. Uh. And you're just gonna do the slow credits. I knew Aisha was in here. <laughs> what happened to the other guy, Cohen? What happened to him? Of course, Geezy's in here. Well, he did the... Okay. Concept art. Character design, Adrian. Uh-huh. Gotta have Shelby Craig. Mm-hmm. Angela Sham. Always good. Welcome back. Uh, okay, we got a lot of different animation people. A few newcomers I don't think I recall. Mm-hmm. I don't... A lot of different artists. Cool. Oh, X at Zamang is here. Cool. I always pronounce their name wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, cool. Mm-hmm. Well, that was certainly a thing. Ah, animation cleanup. Toasty Hat's back. Welcome back, Toasty Hat. That... Did any of that matter? Well, I guess now we're close. Ah, James Roach. Uh-huh. Sound effects lead. Toby Fox. Welcome back, Toby. <laughs> and Clark Powell. Clark Powell. Very good. Very good. Uh, let's see. What else? I don't know what to say at this point. I'm just kind of stunned. Ah, uh, fellow traveler and what pumpkin? Of course, yeah. Mm-hmm. Thought so. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Additional... Oh, uh, there's Cohen. I knew he was somewhere in here. He was lead the last game, so... And thanks to all our Kickstarter backers. Mm-hmm. Not gonna list them all, because that would take too much dang time. But Wow. Wow. Thank you, Unity. Continued in Act 3. Mm-hmm. 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 Hmm. Okay, then. Is the thing just gonna- Is this main screen gonna be a train wreck? Sell you later and dead freight. Sell you later. What's that for? Because I had the batteries for another round? Yeah, it's a train crash. Okay, sweet. That's great. Oh, yay. 
What the heck was that? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, we certainly got a good feel about, like, how crazy things are around here. Uh, wow. Are the Lucy okay? Are all of our friends dead? I guess we'll find out in Act 3 if everyone's dead. Uh, well, all playable characters die? Mm, well, no. I don't think Joey and Zephros are dead. Hmm. We didn't get bingo, but we were really, 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 really close. We just needed an Undertale reference, and we needed Doc Scratch to introduce himself. Or we could have had someone say Hype Train. We were very close, and I can't look, I can't, uh, I will say that that was really nice. We got really close, and I'm glad we were able to play this. Wow. This is going to be a monster to edit together, man. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a monster to edit. Only got a couple days, too. Just as, a, just as a heads up, I'm actually moving, like, really, really, really soon. I'm moving on Friday the 4th. So this will probably be out by then. I might be on the road, because we're traveling to Texas. <laughs> I'm one of those Californians. <laughs> but yeah, I'm getting a ringing in my ear. I should probably go downstairs now. It's getting dark in this room, and I gotta edit things. I've got places to be and things to write, like next, uh, not December, but January. I got a Homestuck video in mind, and it's gonna involve high bloods, and I'm looking, and I mean that in the classical sense. So, I'm really glad I was able to play this. Quite an interesting take. And I feel sorry for anyone whose favorite clown got murdered. I'm sorry about that. If that if one of those two were your favorites, I'm sorry about that. It's gonna be weird. Though Karako should not have been there. Karako is supposed to be dead, canonically. And he's supposed to join with, like, the Dark Carnival. But I'm gonna have to play through this all over again anyway. To try to get all the, like, achievements. Though I don't think I'll be putting that as an actual, like, but maybe I'll make it as a bonus episode? I'm still not sure. I'm gonna need a moment to take a little rest and relaxation from this particular game. Get everything in my think pan figured out. And also, I just need to, you know, settle down in the new place that we're going to. And all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. But thank you guys so much for following along on this journey. What little you do it really makes a difference to me. <sighs> anyway, I'll see you guys all next time for the next Homestuck-related thing that comes out. Might be Homestuck 2. Might be my next video essay. We'll find out. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye. Here's to the ones who let shine Something more, we won't forget your names. The tide is high, say goodbye, we said it say And all those midnight secrets, so we'll take them to the grave. So when I'm gone, oh, when I'm gone, I'll be right there, close to the sun. Keep Hey there. Consider becoming a patron, just like the phenomenal Bleed Red, Alexander Madeline, Uranium Coffee, and Ryan Nelson.